Welcome back. Next up is Alex Laley against Kunihiko Takahashi. We join it in the 16th rack. Takahashi leads 9-6. Now, quickly, the tide has turned here. I would have thought this match would have been in the books by now, but Alex Laley refused to give up. I've got to give him uh, full marks for character and goods. For not letting what? It was 9-2, wasn't it? Yes, and... Golly, this man, he made some, you know, he, he made some clumsy errors very, very early in the match. But once he got in stroke, the tide, as you see it, Jerry, turned. How big's the problem getting from this to the Brown 7? Well, the problem is he has to hit a lot of heavy draw on this shot and that brings that side pocket into play he needs to cheat the pocket to stay away from the side pocket with the cue ball and he that did that very well pretty adjacent Now he can punch straight up the table or follow the two rails around. He'll follow the two rails to be directly in line with the eight ball in the pocket. Well, his countrymen, Vermeer and Rembrandt, were very handy with colors. He's showing the class came on the scene about five years ago when he changed from rugby. Taking some notable scalps since then. Every intention of scalping here in the World Championship. This for 9-7. Alex Laley now draws within two games. Clever it! How is his shot on the one? Well, it's thin, but there's an aggressive option. Yeah, and the aggressive option here is better than the save. And here you see the break shot one more time. A lot of power going into that break. Ominous for the Japanese lad that he has found the sweet spot at just the right time on this diamond. It is indeed. <coughs> and, you know, position here is automatic. If he hits the one ball hard enough to get to the corner pocket, the cue ball will have enough force left in it to come all the way back down table for the two. Well, it would be the greatest comeback since Lazarus. He's rolling like thunder here. Could go all the way to 11. Would have expected him to take a little bit more time on this shot, but maybe he's so confident he doesn't need it. If, if his instincts have taken over and he can feel comfortable over the cue stick, Good oh, way you're putting it. Man. If what your instincts take shot. over, in this kid's case, he's got the class to marry the two together. Instinct and execution. Fabio Petroni sits in the front row, picking up tips. Is this a fairly thin clip that he's going to have to stretch a little for. He may choose to ask for the rake or the rest. Don't translate. We know what you mean now. We have a cross-pollination of jargon across the Atlantic this week. Rest, rake, rail, cushion, side English. The wonderful jargon like dog in the cheese in this magnificent game, which is the fastest growing billiard sport in the world. The consideration here is for speed. If he tries to hit the two ball gently and hold the cue in the middle of the table, he could come up short, so he really needs to go up and back. This is the kind of shot that can go awry. Or 
Rye, of course, jogging for cockeyed. <laughs> jogging As indeed. He really, really worries about this one. Because of uh, how to get positions, the hard, well, it's not hard, it's just the, the pace of the shot. Well, you know, he's done all this work to come this far. You sure don't want to go sit down now. And, oh, one of those tough, tough shots. Trying to move the five out of the way of the nine. That was really risky. He could have wound up tucked behind the four ball. As it is, dropped short by three inches of the four ball. And what's in his mind about the orange and the nine? Well, he's going to have to play a safety now on that on that uh, five ball. I don't believe there's enough there for the carom. It's hard to see from our angle. He may be able to carry him off the five and put the nine in the corner, but I would think that he would replace the five ball with the cue ball and send the five to the other side and let Kunihiko come up and attempt a kick. Ah. He's, he's missed the three. Well, that could change everything. doing so well and again he's overcut the ball most of theirs he's made this uh, match have been overcuts yeah remember the horrible brown well Tunahiko gets an opportunity to stretch get out of that chair oh that terrible chair Does he get this by hitting cushion first? I'm not sure the angle to direct hit. Well, if he hits it cushion first, he's going to have to hit it gently to maintain a shot on the four. Uh, I would expect him to try. If he can hit the ball, he'll hit it ball first and draw back for the four ball. He can't draw back if he hits the cushion first. He can't draw back effectively. Well, if you can whistle through these, it would take him to the hill. It's 10. Well, you know what? He's in a position now where he may be able to force through this ball and break that cluster apart. Although it's really not necessary. The safety is <laughs> a pretty devastating safety. Now he's checking out the carom. We'll take another look. That, the problem with the carom is he would have to load the cue ball up with right hand English to toss the nine ball just slightly to the left. I don't believe that pink goes past the orange. I believe he's going to have to take it in the side. Let's see if we get a look. Yeah, it does not go past. Four ball will be deposited in the side pocket. That's not the problem. The problem is exactly what he wants to do for the five. That that carom is such an aggressive shot. It cost him the match if it if it if it misses. I would really expect him to choose the safety here. So what do you reckon the safety the best lay is? Well the best lay is to come down table about uh, a foot away from that five ball directly in line with the tangent line between the five and the nine. And you know what? He's there. Sid, right now, all he's got to do is put this cue ball where the five is and send the five ball. Whoops, my line didn't draw right. To right there. Or he can send, actually, he can send the five ball much further and have it land over here. He's got, uh, this is a great safety opportunity here. 
Well, now. Since he's not married against that nine ball, this is a much easier escape than it could have been. That's why I thought he would have just stopped uh, the cue ball where the five was. Um, nine goes, seven Takahashi leads, and he needs two more racks. Yeah, you know, Alex really can come off of either rail and hit this ball. If he comes off of the rail across from where he is now standing, he actually has the opportunity of making that five ball. As long as he can clear that nine, and I believe he can, he can put check English on this ball. Oh, shit. And make this shot. Oh, did it go? Oh, no. lucky. Well, you call it spot on, Jerry, but that was only a whisker out in the execution. You can see how disappointed he is. It doesn't matter who's at the table. When you see them come this close to a great shot, you can't help but feel for them. And Kunihiko Takahashi just needs to clear these three balls to go to the hill with the break and Alex thinking what could have been with just maybe a quarter of an inch difference. Hmm. That's right, with a quarter of an inch and it would have taken it into the knuckle and in as it was, it left the cushion because of the early contact. These three for 10 7, and then just one more. Takahashi only had to consider making that ball. It, he could have made the seven from virtually anywhere on that end of the table. All he has to do is stop this cue ball, take the slightly longish shot on the nine ball. No need to do anything fancy. Meanwhile, Alex, Alex can just sit and hope that this next break shot is not profitable. Welcome back. It's Laylee against Takahashi. Back to the action. We join it in the 18th rack. Well, he didn't hit that hard enough to draw, so he was just hitting it deep so that he could hit a, a more gentle shot and still maintain a position on that table. Yeah, he was able to keep it there with that deep, deep punch. Right. Talking about deep punches. How about a quick punch to the pink nine? No, I don't think so. The way he's set up, he's going to come back across the table, play the four in the same pocket as the two ball. And just go out from there. Great shot. Yep. On the money on the pink. He does have to go across the table and back for the orange, but that won't be any problem for this man. You know, really, since the six ball is lying down here on the foot rail, he could just draw out to center table and use the angle off the five to make his trip to the six more feasible. Why are you trying to save the game with these balls? Takashi would do it if he could take this rack. So Alex being meticulous in his preparation. Critical shot. He has decided to draw back out to the mid table. Mm. 
Now he'll use more right on this ball to spin back for the six. He can't put a lot of deep draw in it. He don't want to. He doesn't want to flirt too much with that side pocket unless he's further away from it than it appears here in the booth. Yeah, Lou. Well, he is hitting it right low and English. right. Using the spin, brings him back. Oh, just about as good as you could get for that six ball from there. Tonight, coming up. Remember, winner breaks. Lily could go all the way now. Well, that's a very fine shot. He got on the right side of the seven ball where it's an easy path to the eight. He can just stun right toward that eight ball. Yep. Yeah. Wiped its feet, bubbled half out. But safe. Ten eight coming up, coming in with Bit of bottom spin to draw back. A snidge and pocket this. Game could be about to turn. It's for Taniet. One more break shot. Could you please be quiet while you're taking your seats? And if that one ball will continue, he's got a shot here, Sid. Absolutely, truly has. <laughs> uh, position to the blue two uh, could be very difficult, though, given that the yellow one is about an inch in from the cushion. Well, more than just very difficult. This is <laughs> this is almost too much to ask for. The, to, to, he's got to draw this ball back so far to get shape on the two ball, unless he's going to settle for a safety here. He doesn't want to do that. He wants to. Oh no! He tried to draw back. Tried to get the shape. Okay. In his favor, that one ball's in a tough spot. I mean, that cue ball's in a tough spot right now. Oh, just jawed it out. And Drove it into the rail early. Give him his two, though. He had uh, a shot off the two, even if he had a put of the one. So here we go as a former world champion. Could step in now and sell this up. Well, Kunihiko has basically the same problem. He's got a tough shot. He's got a very difficult bridging situation, jacked up over these balls. So the cue ball will actually hop up into the air uh, when he hits this. Uh, that always happens when you've got to raise the butt into the cue stick. The ball doesn't roll down. It tends to hop down to where the one ball is, and that can throw things off. And he's still got to get back on the two ball. This is a tough, tough shot. Oh, he's missed it poorly. Yes, very bad miss. And, and look what's happened now. Did he leave it? Yes, he's left that ball in front of the side pocket. It is set up. Could be two or three twists in this river. There's a look. Well, you did spell out, Jerry, the difficulty because of the Q angle when he hit this. Oh, so look how frustrated he is to see where that one ball winds up. Oh, man, because he knows now Alex can set this up so that he can make that two ball and break this trio of balls apart. The six, eight, and nine are a problem now, but he can end that problem on the very next shot. Needs to get past that. Well, Has he's he still got the angle to break them up. Well, he's got the angle, but he's got to be bridging over a ball now. See, 
said he can come into this two ball. Yep. And he can choose to either bank the two or put it over here in the side pocket. Either way, he's got the angle to come hit this six. And that'll just collide with these balls and they'll separate out nicely. And, and he could be okay. Um, but the, the bridge is, is the tough part. The bridge is the tough part. He's got I'll a remind bridge. you, this is for who uh, goes into the last eight to the World Championship. Yeah, it was so tough he decided to play a safety. And that looks pretty vicious. A very good one. A very good one. But now the table stays tough. And he, since he was going to turn the table over to his opponent, he wanted the table to stay tough. Still a strong chance then for Alex Lely. Who surged with five rocks. How frustrated do you think Takahashi must be now? I mean, here he was up nine to two in this yep. match. And he's just been fighting to get a game. What a great hit. Oh, what a great safety. You might see the jump cue come out on this one. Oh, but surely he couldn't have planned the contact with the orange. No. No, he couldn't have, but it, it, it sure worked out well. Let's see if Alex is going to jump it. He hasn't gone for the jump bag yet. Takahashi takes these balls. He's through to the last eight. Lady needs this track and two more. Well, his two main options are a jump or a two rail kick. If he goes the two rail route, you'll see him drive this ball into the top rail. Just here, off this rail, and into the two. Well, he's, he's sort of thinking about more than just hitting it. Yeah, he's going to spin it instead of roll it, it looks like. Mustn't dolly it up. For Takahashi. It has to hit a rail or it's a foul. He's hit a rail. Is it a cut? Clean shot. Oh, yeah, this is a cut. Definitely a cut because the position is natural. He'll have the speed to go right back up table for the four ball. And uh, is there a possible plant that would take the nine in from the six through the black? No. I mean, there is, but but you would never play it at this stage in a tournament. Well, he's just made things a bit tougher uh, by pushing that seven ball down onto the rail as if life were not hard enough already for this man. He clears these balls. He's in the last hit. Boy, this last rack just seems to avoid him every way possible. Both men now well deserving of this victory. You hate to see one be retired. But one will go home from here and one will go on. Oh, no angle really there to break these balls up. So he's he's got to he's got to play a safety on the sixth ball. Oh, just when you've got to stay at the table, you have to leave. Well, he wasn't given much of expression wise for most of this game, but after Lenny rang five racks uh, and given you a dilemma that you pinpointed, Jerry, he's starting to show emotion now. Well, how could you not? If the balls had broken apart just a little bit differently. Oh, he's got an offensive play now. Courageous shot there. Because I'm of the distance, there's an inch between the black and the green. Yeah. And he's found just the line to take the green to the opposite end pocket. Indeed, the green ball here. Uh, the cue ball up and back for the seven. Yeah. 
He wants it to stop. He wanted it to stop four inches early to give him angle. Now he's got to force this ball three rails to get on the eight ball. As the seven ball comes to this pocket, the cue ball will come against this rail and this way and up to here, but he's got to force it. Oh, that is that is one tough shot to have to play at this stage in a match. And he's done it, Sid. What a beautiful pool Absolutely shot. Absolutely sensational. Still not looking very happy, though. Well, he looks totally he, dejected. Well, he wanted to be <laughs> another two inches off that rail. Perfectionist. And he, and he wanted a, to, be, to be a little bit further down the rail. But uh, he can work this out. He'll draw back. So, former world champion Kunihiko Takahashi, after having been given a bit of a fright now by Alex Laley, looks like sewing up the game and going the last eight here. I can't really see his angle from where I'm sitting. He will either stun toward the center. Oh, okay. He's he's going to have to draw straight back and play the nine ball in the same pocket. He's now going to put the eight ball into into which he will now put the eight. Oh. Whew. He decided to form a shot up. My goodness. My co commentator stunned by the <laughs> imagination in that shot. This then to end the grinder that Alex flared in, but only briefly came back with five racks. But in the end, Japanese lad Ellis Cool in the last rack. Takeyashi goes into the last eight.